Hello and welcome to Daytime Stories with Jerry. That's me. And today I have some exciting books for you. Not just one, but two today. We're gonna take a look at an author illustrator who writes and draws the pictures for his own books. This author is Mo Williams and he's won lots of awards and he has lots of great funny books. So let's take a look at these right here. Mo Williams writes books that are picture books. He also writes books that are readers. So if you're going from looking at picture books to learning how to read, these are some of his great books that you can learn how to read. And he has some books that are just funny. They're just hilarious. We have Sam, the most scaredy cat kid in the whole world. And we have That Is Not A Good Idea. Now all of these books are written and drawn by Mo Williams but you'll notice some of the pictures are different. So the pigeon books look the same. You could easily say, oh, that's a Mo Williams book. And if you wanted to get his other books, but you didn't know what they are, you could go to the library and type in a search for the author. Because maybe you would see Sam, the most scaredy cat kid in the whole world, but you wouldn't know that that's Mo Williams. So you could look it up by typing in his name to find his books. Okay, even if you like reading in Spanish, Mo Williams has you covered with La Paloma Encuentra Un Perro Caliente. Okay, so if you like to read in Spanish, he's got you covered. He's got lots of books in Spanish too. So today we're gonna read a double header of Mo Williams books. I'm not gonna tell you which ones just yet, but this is a shout out to Simeon Whitaker. He loves the don't let the pigeon drive the bus. That's how we were introduced to Mo Williams. And we hope that this introduction for you guys is great and you go on to love all his books after today. All right, see you in a minute. The first book we're gonna read is The Pigeon Needs a Bath by Mo Williams. I do not. He thinks he doesn't need a bath. I think he does. I can smell him a little bit already. Look at the pigeon getting in the mud. What a stinker. Hi, I don't know if you've noticed, but the pigeon is filthy. So I could use your help because the pigeon needs a bath. That is a matter of opinion. What do you guys think? What a kidder. I don't really need a bath. I took one last month. I think it was last month. Scritch, scritch, scritch. Clean, dirty. They're just words, right? I feel clean. Maybe you need a bath. Yeah, when was the last time you had a bath? Oh, that was pretty recently. Life is so short. Why waste it on unimportant things? Like taking a bath. What smell? I don't smell anything. And if I do, it's a very normal smell for a pigeon. You know, in some places, it's impolite to bathe. Bzzz. All the flies are chasing him. All of these flies buzzing around me are purely coincidental. Phew, yuck. Let's get out of here. He's so stinky, the flies don't even like him. Take a bath, dude. That's what the flies are telling him. Okay, fine. If it means so much to you, then I'll take a bath. Whoa, I'm not going to like this one bit. The water's too hot. It's too lukewarm. 
It's too wet. Not enough toys. Mm. Too cold, too hot, too cold, too many toys. Too deep, too cold, too reflective. That is still too hot. Not deep enough. Now it's not hot, it's too hot again. Well, I guess this is okay. Splash! Do you think he's gonna like it? Hey, this is fun! La 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 la, singing in the tub, wash, wash, wash. This is the life. I love bubbles. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm fine. Well, look at my wrinkly toes. Can you see his little wrinkly toes right there? I'm a fish, I'm a fish. Look at him swimming. 10 hours later. Can I stay in the tub forever? The end. The pigeon finally got a bath. I hope that that story was really fun for you. Like I said, today we have a double header and our second book is Simeon's favorite. So I hope you guys like it as much as he did when he was little. He's kind of a big guy now but he loved this book so much, the library ordered it special for him to get when they lived in Alaska. So here it is, Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus by Mo Williams. Beep, beep, look at that nice bus. Hi, I'm the bus driver. Listen, I've got to leave for a little while, so can you watch things for me until I get back? Thanks, and oh, remember, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. Do, 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 do. Look at the pigeon right there. I thought he'd never leave. Hey, can I drive the bus? Please. I'll be careful. I'll tell you what, I'll just steer. My cousin Herb drives a bus almost every day. True story. Hmm. Vroom, vroom, vroomy, vroom, vroom. Pigeon at the wheel. No, I never get to do anything. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's play drive the bus. I'll go first. Come on, just once around the block. I'll be your best friend. No fair. How about I give you five bucks? I bet your mom would let me. What's the big deal? I have dreams, you know. It's just a bus. Fine. Let me drive the bus! I'm back. You didn't let the pigeon drive the bus, did you? Great, thanks a lot. Uh-oh. Bye! Oh, doesn't the little pigeon look sad? He didn't get to drive the bus. Hey, he better get out the road. And that is the end of Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. We hope that you guys have enjoyed our double feature today, our double reading by Mo Williams. 
And as always, I hope you learned something new, had a chance to travel to new places, and had lots of fun. Make sure to click subscribe for our new videos. And until next time, see you guys.